although uh, I may get taken over by events, but I feel I do have to say something about Catalonia. So this is the news so far at about uh, 20 past eight on Saturday night, the, uh, the 28th of October. Uh, and the news is that this afternoon the Spanish government took charge and the Catalan regional government has been dissolved uh, or disbanded or whatever you do to a regional government that steps out of line. Uh, so first, uh, some statistics about Catalonia, courtesy of the BBC. 18% uh, of Spain's population lives in Catalonia. No, 16%, sorry. Uh, the region produces 26% of Spain's exports and 19% of Spain's GDP and almost 21% of Spain's foreign investment. I think they have car manufacturing there, don't they? Um, anyway, whatever, that's quite a hefty slice and I understand very well why Spain wants to hang on to it. But even though the Catalans feel they're getting less out of being in Spain than Spain is getting from them, uh, there, there really was no need, or there seems to have been no need, for them to declare independence. Well, you know, you think, why did they do it? And my theory is that it's all down to the European Union, and it, and it goes like this. People might have cars and dishwashers and flying planes and watch YouTube on their computers and all the rest of it, but how long has modern civilization actually been going? In some parts of the world, it, it hasn't arrived yet. Well, in the developed West, uh, what, 300 years, 250 years, maybe. Uh, to start with, it was families to which you owed allegiance. Then it was tribes. Then possibly it was areas. Then it was nations. That took a long time and, and, and some societies still exist on the tribal level. So we're pretty close to tribal families even now. Uh, and I think that nations are just about as much as our human current state of development can manage. The EU is an experiment in enlarging this into a sort of super nation uh, and we can't handle it. Well, uh, apart from the fact that the EU setup is anti-democratic and just horrendously wasteful, uh, so people have started to think of retreating back to the tribe because their nation won't protect them anymore. Uh, the, the EU is, of course, uh, backing the Spanish government. Uh, with the president of the European Commission, Jean-Claude Juncker, voicing his fear that uh, Catalonian independence would start an avalanche. Uh, last week he said, I would not like an EU that in 15 years consisted of 98 states. Uh, I'll bet he wouldn't. It would be impossible uh, to exert any control at all. Uh, over such a uh, conglomeration. Uh, uh, mind you, the time period of 15 years shows just how out of touch Jean-Claude is. Uh, I can't see the EU lasting more than five years at this rate, never mind 15. So uh, some of you will know the biblical story of the Tower of uh, Babel and they'll understand the warning that it contains. The people of Babel wanted to build a tower that was so big it reached heaven. Uh, the EU tried to build a governmental system so big that it would deliver utopia. And like the tower builders of Babel, uh, they're facing even worse disintegration than if they'd never started in the first place. It's not just the Catalans, Italy is just desperate to split into at least three sections and that's not counting the islands like Sardinia and Sicily. Uh, there's Brittany in France and the French Basque country and Provence and the uh, the Bavarians have always chafed under German central rule. Uh, 
Mind you, and this is just a personal note from someone, me, who has lived in Germany. If I were Germany, I'd let Bavaria go and then I'd dance for joy when the door shut. Uh, but again, that's just my own personal opinion. There are a few other parts of Germany as well uh, that never really integrated, such as Schleswig-Holstein and um, a couple of others I can't think of now. Prezia, I think. Anyway, Belgium itself, the epicentre of the EU, is currently held together by red tape and chewing gum as the Flemish and the Walloons glare at each other from their semi-segregated areas. And of course, hat tip to V, there's Romania, which has a huge Hungarian population just desperate to make trouble. Uh, th there are many more. It's just getting boring listing them all. Uh, before the EU started, perhaps its originators should have read some Eastern philosophy. Lao Tzu, the Chinese philosopher, said governing a big country is like boiling a small fish in a large pot. And what he meant by that is it'll just all disintegrate and nobody gets anything in the end.